Hey YouTube, this is Grant Dandino here. Thanks for checking out my channel again. So, a while ago I made a Urza Lord High Artificer, um, just a deck list, a deck tech type of thing. And uh, I got a lot of views, I got people commenting, I got some messages, and um, since then I have upgraded the deck. Uh, my girlfriend, who is now my fiance, bought me a bunch of really, really awesome cards. So I put them in and I'm not going to lie, that's part of the reason why she's my fiance now, is because if you can find you a girl who spends money on cards for you, that is a freaking keeper. But, um, there was upgrades made to the deck, and I just wanted to say before I start, um, this is uh, a lot of good ideas for if somebody wants to make Urza, you do not need to make it this ridiculous. Um, this is not quite competitive, but within a few different cards, it almost could be, in my opinion, and generally when my friends play with me, I'm always like, if you want to play against Urza, let me play against your best deck, and it usually wins. And I've played against some really good decks. So, um, basically, back before this deck was upgraded, it still did amazing. You can buy Urza and probably make a budget deck that just stomps because of how powerful of a commander he is. But let's jump in. So to start out, I did um, ramp first, card draw, and uh, counters. So just the simple stuff. And my philosophy is I would rather have... Instead of like a hundred dollar card, I'd rather have a hundred dollars worth of good cards, multiple cards, but like I said, I got this out of a mystery booster, so All right, let's go into it. And if you guys want to read the card, go ahead and pause the video, as long as my thumb's not in the way, and uh, we'll go over it. So ramp in this deck isn't necessarily super needed because... I mean, it's, all decks need it, but with Urza, you'd be surprised how fast mana goes, especially if you have a good amount of artifacts in your deck. Urza's ability is that he allows you to um, tap an untapped uh, artifact you control at a mana. So like this Jeweled Amulet I just went by, it was really nice because it's essentially a mox. But just because zero cost artifacts can tap for mana, that doesn't mean you should run them necessarily because some of them don't really do anything. Or they're not worth the slot in your deck, in my opinion. Alright, we're going into card draw. <clears throat> Alright, this is a gift from my girlfriend. Uh, very sweet of her. I used to run Mr. Cromora only. Now I run both. Great card. Um, Ponder, Preordain, and Brainstorm. Gotta have them. There's some good... If there was the cards that I would take out of the deck, though, um, it would probably be either one of those. And I also, also, Treasure Cruise is good, but it doesn't seem that necessary because this deck just turns through cards with the mana... Already? Okay, so, into counter spells. This is one of the ones my girlfriend bought me, and I think this is for our anniversary. She got me this Force of Will. This is why I had to buy a ring. I'm telling you people. So, um, going into counter spells. Uh, this deck, I'm telling you, I always have a counter spell in hand, it seems like. So, this deck does a really good job. Um, one thing I will say is that I'm looking for anybody, if you have some, like, um, any ideas on how to make this deck a little bit more fun? I, I shouldn't say it that way. This deck is super, super fun, and it's got a lot of different ways to win. It's just that um, I want to know if there's ways I can make it better based off what you see. If there's something that you run in your deck that you're like, this is amazing in my deck and you don't have it, I'm telling you you should get it, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. Because I do, I do, I mean, I wouldn't mind trading some of these cards for just more f cards that give it more options how to win. Because I have a couple, but I'll go into that in a second. So here's the tutors. Um, Merchant Scroll. Mystical Tutor. These just help me get the artifacts that I really, really want. And um, after this, I believe I'll be going into the artifacts. And you can see some of the ways that I win. Um, this is also a counter spell as well as the tutor. I love the, the mages, the trinket mage. So here's one of the ways I win. So with Urza, he says that you can tap an artifact for mana. This doesn't say in this card, but it's been eroded to say that as long as Winter Orb is untapped, no player might untap more. So that before your turn starts, you tap this for a mana, it fades away, then you can untap everything, but your opponents can't tap. Same thing with the Static Orb and Storage Matrix, they do similar things. This is two permanents, people almost always choose land. Um, and then of course, you get to draw extra cards, but they don't. And this is so, this is such an amazing card, and I would run this in every Urza deck because it is a mox that lets you regenerate one of your artifacts, and you need your artifacts. Here's a win condition. It's uh, the Isochron Scepter, so I do that with Dramatic Reversal. And here's something that's really cool, and it's won me a lot of games. So Urza is absolutely needed in this deck. If he's not out on the field, 
it's hard. It, you can win with other ways, but I've kind of built the deck around to use them. So you need to have, I run both Lightning Greaves and Swift Foot Boots because you need them on the f field. But since I have these, and Urza makes it so you get mana so fast, you know, I can have Platinum Angel out very, very fast. Seven mana is not hard to get in this, but just, I've won quite a few games with just uh, Lightning Greaves and the uh, Platinum Angel. Uh, here's some cards that I could take out, but they're just fun. So Vidalcan Ori, Panharmonicon, and Unwinding Clock. This one, untap. So, let me go over this real fast. So, um, there's one thing I do with uh, Dead Eye Navigator, that if you have the Urza, he basically lets you, when he enters the battlefield, you get a you get an artifact token. It's a construct. So with um, with the Dead Eye Navigator, you pay two mana, you blink him, you get one of your constructs. But you can tap your construct for blue. So really, it's like pay one mana, get a construct. You can get it with the amount of mana you have. You can get 15 constructs out, and it's huge, right? Especially with some of the ways you'll see how I get lots of tokens to create mana. Um, but if you have Panarmonicon out, you get two every time as it comes in, and you can tap those for two mana, so therefore you just get infinite constructs that are infinitely large. So just say, I'm going to do this 3,000 times, I get 3,000 constructs that are 3,000, 3,000, and man, it can be pretty ridiculous. So I actually wouldn't take this out. I didn't realize how good it was until I pulled it off. I only pulled it off once though, and it was very good. Um, but stuff like the Unwinding Clock, I could take it out. Same with Memnarch. I get a lot of mana in this deck, but it's not like a... This is something I would take out. Um, so, okay, here's some things that help uh, buffer me, keep me alive besides the counter spells. I got the Cyclonic Rift, Dead Eye Navigator, keeps my stuff alive, and like I said before, it makes those tokens, which I've won more with tokens than I have with uh, the Exocron Scepter combo. So, he's very good. Uh, keep you nice and pillow forted, a little propaganda. I got these, a lot of these cards from opening Mystery Booster packs. So that was kind of cool. This is something my girlfriend got me for my birthday, and it's not necessarily the best in this deck, but it's also really, I mean, it's good though. So I use it, and I, it's helped me out. It's, it's, I have ultimated it before because I was able to keep it, um, keep it protected. I've won with this too, but it's something that I would take out. Uh, creatures your opponents control attack this turn of Able, and this one lets you bounce your Urza as well to get more of those uh, constructs. So, here's a couple win conditions. The Dramatic Reversal with the Isochron Scepter. You keep on tapping it, getting infinite mana. And then, of course, with Urza, you can pay five to play cards from the top of your library. And boom. Okay. I think you guys understand how this works, but Lab Maniac for the win. And then, here's some cards that I would take out. Um, but I just think they're good, and I would be welcome to just interchange them. So, Artifacts have Hexproof. It's really good. Some extra card draw. An extra turn. Nothing too crazy. And uh, then here's a few turn, a few cards that give me that like the extra mana. So, whenever you cast an artifact spell, you get an artifact. Whenever you cast an artifact, you get an artifact. Whenever you cast an artifact, you get an artifact. So it gets pretty big. And also, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, you get an artifact, or you can draw cards with them. So, all right. So that's the deck. I made a little bit of a mess here. But then the last thing I want to go through is the land, and this is where I could use some upgrading. So, this wasn't for any occasion, but my fiance bought me this. Um, as a gift, it is not allowed. It is banned in EDH. My friends let me use it, but I'll pull it out whenever I go to the, uh, the LGS. Rest in peace, LGS. Uh, but it's a cool card, and it works really good. It's totally unnecessary. And then my lands, of course, are nothing crazy here. So, go through them fast. Yeah, I mean, I would love to upgrade these lands. And there's something I would like called Extra Planar Lens. It's really cool. Um, most of these, honestly, they don't do much for me. I've never been a guy that uses his lands much for things. Like, I, I saw, like, Emergent Zone lets you cast spells as though you had Flash. Never got a chance to use it. Um, but, maybe. Who knows? So, the rest of these are just snow-covered, and that's why I want the Extra Planar Lens. Thank you for watching, guys. And I, I wanted to let you guys know something, too. So, but, uh, before I get into that, if you have any ideas for the deck, or if you have anything that you think I should be running, go ahead and leave me a comment. If you have questions, go ahead and leave a comment or message me. I answer them. The last video generated a few messages and I was able to talk to some people. I even uh, made a couple friends on Twitter, over Magic the Gathering Twitter. Um, but I'm going to start playing D&D. &D. Well, I already play it, but I'm going to start recording my D&D &D sessions. We're going to do live streams. And uh, if you guys want to subscribe, that'd be great because you guys can chat. We have a chat window open. Uh, as I DM, I always keep my laptop in front of me, so I'll be able to talk. Um, 
my group has a good, you know, we have a good time, so we want to start streaming it so everybody can just join along and uh, talk. So if you guys want to start watching us play D&D and hang out and just kind of talk with us, go ahead and hit subscribe. Um, and like I said, I take all um, questions. So have a good rest of your day, guys, and thanks for watching my video.